Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever asked yourself how you can increase your productivity and organize all of your applications and services into the one application? If the answer is yes, watch this video where I will introduce you to the open source project called Perdium. So let's get started. So let me first introduce you to the Ferdium and what Ferdium is. Ferdium is a desktop application that will help you organize and how you use your favorite application, combining them into the one application. Uh, Ferdium is based on France, which is software already used by many, many people and organizations in the world. And basically the difference between France and Ferdium is that with Ferdium, you get additional features and they do not restrict usage. France is a paid product. Uh, if you, maybe if you ever used uh, something like this, you are maybe familiar with Rambox, which is uh, closed source, is not open source, and it is also uh, behind the paywall. As you can see, you can see the different prices, but I think the best known application that is doing what Ferdium is doing is uh, Shift. But the problem uh, with Shift is that it relies on uh, Google Chrome at the backend. Also, it is a closed doors application and the license is about 99 uh, dollars a year as we can check the pricing somewhere here it should be but i cannot find it uh, now but i was using shift uh, many years ago but the problem is that they discontinued the linux uh, linux application for shift so i was searching for alternatives and i found Ferdium. Now I'm using Ferdium for almost a year and a half and I'm really happy with it. So as you can see in the GitHub, the Ferdium is uh, actively developed. There are over 220 releases and the last release is uh, two weeks ago. So this is really rare to see in the open source project. And for now, I've been receiving updates for Ferdium almost every month. So it is actively developed. There is community behind it. And you don't have to worry that this project will end soon. Also, what's really nice with Ferdium that you can also create your own server where you can store all of your application settings, your custom websites, and those kind of things. By default, you will have option to use Ferdium without any account, or you can create account on the official Ferdium server if you want to have sync functionalities. But to be noted, it will not sync any passwords, anything sensitive. It will only sync your application like gmail whatsapp telegram and those kind of things so you don't need to add those every time you set up ferdium on new computer so how to download ferdium you visit uh, ferdium.org you scroll down and you click get ferdium and as you can see ferdium is compatible on all platforms on a linux you can download the the package, RPM, app image, it is up to you. On Windows, you can download the EXE or you can use Chocolatey Package Manager or even Winget. And for macOS, you can also download the installer or I prefer that you can use uh, Homebrew, which is a package manager for app uh, iOS. 
So let's assume you have your Perdium downloaded and installed. Let me switch the window so we can start of configuring it. And you will be here in this uh, main window when you open Ferdium. As I mentioned before, you can create a free account uh, which is hosted on European server. It is fully GDPR compliant. They do not store any data except the application and custom application that you set up in your workspaces. So for the demonstration, I'm going to log into my account that I just logged out. I'm going to enter my personal email address. I can grab my password from World Warden. And as you can see, here are my all applications that I'm using on a daily basis. There is uh, my Twitter. Here is my World Warden. Here is my personal YouTube, music, YouTube Studio. As you can see, you can add any number of the same application and you can uh, log in with different accounts, which is really great. And this really helps improve your productivity. So you don't need to tinker with browser tabs or switching accounts or those kind of things. So let me log out. And we can start using Perdium uh, without any account. So let me remove this. And I will start fresh for this tutorial. And when you go to the settings, as you can see, you can tinker with uh, many settings here. Uh, you can add your services. You can change the appearance, privacy, change the language. It is supported in many, many languages. And basically that's it. But first, what I recommend when you start using Perdium is go to the uh, workspaces and you set up your new workspace. So, for example, I'm going to remove those. Let me delete it again. You go to the workspaces add new workspace and I recommend that you set up, uh, for example, your first uh, personal and you click save and you can also add your work. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it this way. So when I got everything separated and I like to keep work workspace loaded. So now when we have our workspaces, what we need to do is to add applications. So here in the left bottom corner, you open a workspace drawer or you press Ctrl D. You go to the personal or work, you click get started. And here you see the list of more than 220 applications that you can add. So let's first add our Gmail. Save service. Also, we can add, for example, uh, Microsoft Teams if you are using Teams, Google Calendar. And maybe you want to add your next cloud. What is it? Your next cloud application, you enter your server IP, for example, <laughs> google.com. It doesn't matter, it's just a demonstration. You go there. You go to the all services, and as you can see, your applications are here. You logged in to those applications and you will stay logged in almost forever. 
it really depends what settings you are using for example in google you can set up automatic uh, logout every 30 days or something like that so it is uh, as i mentioned before it is really time saver it helps me with my productivity i don't have to switch uh, applications to applications or switching between different accounts if you have so once you try it you will fall in love with Verdium trust me you would never want to use anything else so I really hope that uh, you like this video let me go to the browser that you like this video you I highly recommend to try this out and if you have any questions please let me know down in comments below I'll do my best to answer all of your questions and yeah stay tuned for the next video and uh, have a great weekend bye bye